Good day, everybody, and welcome to another edition of the Military and Foreign Affairs Network. I am your host, the voice of reason. Well, there she is, folks. They let her out. <clears throat> Any thoughts on that? You think Miss Brittany is going to uh, come back to the United States and continue with her ban the national anthem during WNBA uh, games? I bet she does. I bet she does. Very interesting that here in the United States there are tens of thousands of people that have been locked up in U.S. prisons for possession of marijuana. And again, it depends on the amount of marijuana you are possessing and do you have the intent to sell it. Now, with that being said, she decided to take her vape pot cartridges and uh, head over to Russia. And she got her pee-pee spanked. And she got locked up. And the U.S. decided to trade prisoners for her. She admits to doing what she did. Now, I mean, does the, the crime fit the punishment? I don't know what the, the sentence was, but it sounded like it was for a, a fairly uh, long period of time. Hopefully, when she comes back, she has new appreciation for the U.S. justice system. But again, same thing happens here. People have been locked up for, for many, many years. Maybe not for the possession of the amounts that she had, but obviously pot-related crimes if it's uh, illegal in your state. But very, very interesting. There is a, uh, a certain Marine, Paul Whelan, former Marine, still in Russian custody. Now, who knows what, uh, what, what went down for, with that, what would actually happen. It, uh, not going to really get into that though. But again, why Russia? Did you, did you really have to give her, give her back to us? Couldn't you just keep her? All I have to say is God bless Don Imus. Have a good day, everybody.